can we just say shout out to the gang? We K gang out. I don't even know how to use it. How you do a K? Is this how you do a K? I don't, I don't even know. Uh, anyways, we just hit 10K on Instagram. So shout out to the gang. We K gang out here. And we only going up from here. All right. We have finally crossed over to the K gang. And we are only getting better. We present to you a Rome Productions. What's good, everybody? If you're first time viewing my content of this video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be doing a recap over Kita Rose. I believe that is her name. Uh, excuse the beeping that you hear in this video. I need to call the people to change my uh, fire alarm battery. Anyways, so you're going to hear a lot of beeping in this song, in, in this uh, video, so I don't need y'all talking about in the comment section. Is there a fire alarm beeper? Change your fire alarm. What he said. Video Keita Rhodes talks about her standards concerning men and dating. And there were a lot of men who had a lot of mixture of emotions concerning what she had to say. I don't think people understood the comedy <laughs> or the uh humor behind this i don't think she was being well first off if you didn't see the video here it is why people got upset when other people expressed their standards you want a man that knows how to build a house and you don't even know how to build a house right that's why i want you to know how to <laughs> the realest shit ever is people don't want you to raise your standards because they know that they'd never be able to meet them they'd rather you lower your standards to put yourself in a position that makes them feel more comfortable you want a man that don't cheat on you don't disrespect you or abuse you but your ex did all that stuff yes i made a mistake i'm learning from that mistake i'm choosing not to make that mistake again is that okay if a man only wants to marry a woman that has abs that can crack a walnut with her ass should we tell him to like something different to make us feel more comfortable <laughs> The answer is no. Never lower your standards to make others feel more comfortable. The only people that are uncomfortable are the people that couldn't meet those standards anyway. And you don't want them. Now, concerning the basis here, I don't think she was being realistic when she said that she wants a man to know how to build a house. I think she was just setting an example that if she wants a man who knows how to build a house, that she's the right to have that standard. A lot of men in the comment section thought that this was irrelevant and unnecessary because majority of men do not know how to build a house. Nor is it particularly necessary for a man to know how to build a house because we don't live in an age and time where we can just go out and then, okay, we build a house and all this other type of stuff. No, we actually go and find houses to live in. <laughs> If you look in the comment section as well, men the men in there also thought that it was unnecessary uh, and it was uh, unrealistic. The men in the comment section also thought that it was unrealistic for her to have these type of expectations from a man to where she wants a man to know how to build a house. Now, in this day and age, maybe you could say that, right? Maybe you could say that. At the same time, I was having this conversation with one of my female friends a few minutes ago that, you know, she was talking She was talking to me talking about how she wants a man in her occupation. She deals with FBI and, and criminal stuff and, and criminal justice. And, all that other and so, so she wants a man in the law enforcement or somebody that's just around that occupation. And she has a right to feel that way. She has a right to want those type of things from a man. She has a right to want a man in her occupation. There are people out here who have families and they have passed on their family business from generations to generation to generation. Maybe they want somebody to be with them to push on that, that, that family business, you know? So if she wants a man to know how to build a house and how to fix the sink and, and how to do uh, floorboarding and all the other type of stuff. She has a right to have those type of standards. At the same time, though, if you're trying to get a quote unquote traditional man, you also have to be a traditional woman. Who's to say whether or not she is a traditional woman? I don't know her personally. 
But if she wants to have those standards and she feels like that she can meet the qualities and the standards of those men who build the houses, no harm, no foul. You know what I'm saying? Now, where I personally have the issue is when we're dealing with the basis of how did we get here? <laughs> you know, because she, she, she goes on further to talk about how uh, when dealing with men, she wants a good man now. You know, she has had her, you know, mistakes in, in falling short and chasing after the, the hoodlums, you know. Now she wants a good man. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know, being fooled one time, two times, three times, f- four times. Uh, <laughs> what, where it comes to, though, is why, why did you now all of a sudden realize now? And you have some women out here who have gone all throughout their 20s chasing after the hoodlums, trying to live that city girl, hot girl life. And now they have reached 30 and over and now they want a good man. And there will be some of these uh, women out here who will complain and be like, where are the good men? Why can't I find a good man? Miss, maybe because you ran them off when you were in your 20s. Maybe that good man that you that you wanted to build that house and that good man that could, you know, finalize things and, and law and all this other type of stuff. Maybe you ran them off. See, I don't have an issue with her wanting the standards. And I, and like I said before, I don't think her wanting a man to actually build a house is her realistic standard. But if she wants a good man, you know, and, and she was talking about how, like, if a man wants a woman with with abs, you know, if he if he wants a woman that's fit, if if he wants a woman that's active, you know, that he has a right to do that just as much as a woman who wants a man to build a house. But at the same time. <laughs> Learning how to build a house and just being fit as every party as everybody should be are two different things. Me learning how to build a house does it really benefit you in the long run? I mean, some of us think that we're gonna have an apocalypse in the next few years, <laughs> but does it really benefit you if I learn how to make a house aside from you? getting fit and and getting active and, and, you know, being in shape, eating healthy, caring about your health. Can you really match those together though? Like me making a house and you just eating a salad two times a week, maybe cutting out the junk food on the weekends, you know, even getting a membership somewhere at a gym, you know, working out three times a week, just something. But share your thoughts in the comment section below. Hopefully you enjoyed this recap concerning the basis at hand. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video with other people. Until next time, I'm Tyrone, and I am out. Found me a black woman, so I got my backbone. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> black man with self-love, I choose to love black only. That black woman, that black woman. Whoa, black love is that strong. My jeans black like back home. Huh, like back home, like Africa, like back home. Black love, love black only. Black woman, my backbone. Black. Black. Black woman, my reflection. Black queens.